It's a beautiful day to be alive. This is Entertainment with Becky E. With Bex, you are so welcome to another exclusive edition of your favorite entertainment show on Joy Prime, on Multi TV. We're on Go TV. We are on GSTV as well. Uh, today is special. I'm giving you something different. So please stick and stay with me. So very, those very who graduate from senior high school who did visual arts will not be able to enter into the university to study arts. Where do they go? What happens to them? They end up on the street. With the passion, they end up on the street. Yeah. Currently, as we speak right now, there's only one major gallery, art gallery, which is Artist Alliance. And apart from Artist Alliance, tell me, the museum is gone. If you just joined me, this is Joy Prime, and uh, this is your favorite entertainment show, and it is called Entertainment with Becky E with Bex. Today, I told you we're doing something very different. I am surprising you. We are going all the way into the arts, and I have uh, two special gentlemen here uh, to talk art with. Have we neglected the art industry? We're here to have a conversation with uh, two men um kwisi ejari that's uh, just do it right there and i have prince hilton um also uh, going to have this conversation with me these two people um uh, the people um let me say projecting art industry they're projecting the art industry here in ghana and uh, this is the right people to talk the entertainment with so we're here and i i just uh, i just got the beautiful painting right here by Kwesie Jari um, thank you so much so this is basically a tip of the iceberg this is what they do actually this is what they do welcome gentlemen how are you guys doing ah, thank you well, well and thank you you're doing great <laughs> okay okay you, you 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 guys are not you know always in the media do you think that uh, the media or the public um, has neglected the arts. Let, let me go with you, Prince. Okay. Um, talking of neglecting the arts, um, I feel it's, it's something that has been there um, since, since birth. <laughs> you know, since school, yeah. since we, we started. Um, we, we've not seen the art appreciation that much in this country. You know, yes, and um, we feel it's, that there's a need that we should, we the young ones now, should be able to really talk about it, make it a, um, an issue that the art must be, must be appreciated, art must be, artists must be respected, and then it should get to a point where um, the arts can play a major role in the national in, 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 uh, development. Yes, yes, yes. What exactly do you do, Kwesi Ejari? Uh, because, uh, what, what, what is this one called? This, this one? Is, um, flowers and a vase and I did it for E with Bex I mean and I use her colors to depict what she does I mean so basically that's what I did yeah okay so uh, how would you call your kind of artistry um, well um, I'm an artist you know but I specialize in ad abstract paintings <clears throat> I do many meaning meaning Abstract is not a painting that you can easily identify or describe. You have you own your own right to even interpret the artwork to your own understanding. understanding yeah. okay. Basically, that's it. So abstract is not something like a figure where I can tell this is Bex, this is Eugene, this is Prince. No. Abstract is something like you imagine it. It's an imagination, illusion. Yeah. You bring it out of you. And then it's amazing how people also respond to it because they can relate to the painting. Yeah. And so basically abstract is just something that basically you don't even need to title it. Yeah. You know, in abstract world, you don't need to title it. Yeah. So in like maybe five minutes, you can, you know, do something else, which very, is abstract. Very easy. Yes. Okay. I will give you the opportunity to do that whilst Prince uh, tell me 
about the industry. You have been uh, on a media spree talking about the arts and telling us all that you do. Uh, what exactly do you do for the many Ghanaians who are yet to experience what you, you do? Let me, let me keep this one for you. Okay, um, I'm an art director. Um, I most of the time works as um, as a production designer as well, okay. and then as an art director, it's 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 an artist directing the art. So the art director does everything art. Okay. Okay. I'm involved in film. I'm involved okay. in the theatre. I'm involved in the fine arts. I'm involved uh, in um, any production, even in the companies and factories. Um, okay. The art director is is needed. You know, so basically I, I do a lot when it comes to uh, working as an art director, okay. even with music videos too as well. Okay. Yeah. How does that work? And I, I know that uh, you, you've done something in uh, Hollywood yes, that I, everybody is talking about. Uh, great, yes, yes. I, I featured in the film Sense8. Um, it, was, it was actually a series shot in, in Nairobi, Kenya. Okay. Uh, it was shot in eight countries and I was fortunate to happen uh, to have been on uh, the Kenyan version of it. Uh, Sense8 is actually um, a science fiction movie where I was employed to work as a scenic artist. Scenic. As a scenic artist. So I, I created and designed the look and feel of the main character's bus for the film. I ended up creating props, special props, creating special effects, some special effects also um, in, in the movie. Mm. Yeah. That's, uh, and are you based in Ghana? Does all these things happen here in Ghana? Yeah, I, or I'm, I'm, you travel around the world to do all these things? Great. Uh, basically, I, I, I based in Ghana, and, uh, but I get most of my uh, international gigs ah. where sometimes I'm, I'm to lecture in the university um, or in um, film conferences, okay. uh, film trainings, um, where I talk about art, the importance of art in film. Basically, that's my area. I, I make sure filmmakers understand the art of filmmaking. Okay, that is, you know, a little bit uh, of a reserved type of art here in Ghana. I know more, or I've, I've seen more of the abstract one that Kwesi um, is involved in. Kwesi, uh, tell me, um, I, how, how are you guys doing? I don't know. Are you guys being accepted here in Ghana? What do you really do do you i mean paint for the people here in ghana who do you have in mind when you you set out to do something like this becky that's a very good question and thank you for this opportunity um art over here in this country is quite difficult okay. i mean living as an artist in this country is very challenging because first of all i mean how many Ghanaians know what is called art in itself and also in our schools it's been relegated to the backdrop, as in, it's only people who don't do well mm. are the people who are pushed into art, art. class, you yeah. know. So from the onset, you know, people normally don't regard it. So they don't place more emphasis on it. Yeah. So we don't have stakeholders. Yeah. So it's quite difficult. Honestly, currently, as we speak right now, there's only one major gallery, art gallery, yeah. which is Artist Alliance. And apart from Artist Alliance, tell me, the museum is gone. Almost we are left with nothing. People say it's very expensive. The art is what is expensive? expensive? Yeah. Is it the paintings? The painting. Okay. So we don't have more Ghanaians or uh, some of our own, you know, patronizing, patronizing it. We only have the white. And you know that. This Becky, is not the first time. Becky, it's true. But let me tell you something. You are ready to spend so much money to get a good phone. Okay. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Because of what? Because you value that thing. Yeah. Do you value art? You don't, so you are not ready to pay for that much. Yeah. Colors are very expensive. Mm. Okay, this is almost about five, 50 Ghana cities. And you can imagine how many of works can I come out of this? How many works can I produce out of this? So if I'm selling something to you, and also remember, you're not, you not buying my 30 minutes work. You're buying something that I've invested over the years. Yes. And I'm you putting understand. it on the canvas. Yeah. I don't just get up to paint, Becky. Yeah. It takes a lot psychologically. Yeah. That's artists, we are mood swings and all. So yeah. you know, when you are, if you if you tell me that my artwork is expensive, excuse me to say, you just want to rubbish what I'm doing. Okay. Yes. As a fact, yes, because you go to the hospital, a doctor will diagnose you, will tell you you're gonna be go through surgery and you're ready to pay, pay. because that's your life. Yeah. 
your rooms are bare and you are so stressed when you get home because there's nothing on the wall yeah. and you are blaming yourself, art is therapy. Buy it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we yeah. will buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Prince, um, for what you do, uh, do we have uh, so many people doing what you do, you know, art directing in movies? Do you even see them in our movies? You know, the, the, um, the amount of movies that are churned out I mean, talk of the Kumawood and, and yeah. the, the Gollywood, they call it. Sure, sure. Do we see what you do in there? We or you are have... now trying to inculcate those, you know... No, art direction has been in existence in, in our industry for, for a very long time. But we don't pay attention but to it. But we that. don't pay attention to it. Um, every year, NAFTA graduates, a lot of art directors. Mm. But the industry, it is the, it is the industry that really don't pay attention to what... Um, their duties on set. Okay. You know, we have a lot of art directors, but compare our music videos to what is done in, in South Africa. Uh. I can tell you, I know most of these uh, South African movies or the, even music videos has art directors, has set designers separate, has prop, property men separate. Come to Ghana, our um, complete movie set, we only have the set designer who is in charge of props, who's in charge of special effects. It doesn't work like that. Special effect is, is, is a special area where even it's done by an, an artist. Special effect is not done by a, a makeup artist. No. But we have makeup artists. We have a makeup artist who will make you up, give you the uh, bridal look, uh, whatever look. But then when it comes to special effect makeup, it's meant for an artist. And there are people who are specialized in doing that, but we don't hire them. What could be the problem? Because yeah. um, we've been doing movies for how many years yeah. now? And we have people like you, people like Kwesi, um, in the industry. You guys have been here. Yeah. So why now? I mean, um, um, why didn't we pay attention to this particular issue for, I mean, how many years now? Over. 20 or 100 years? Myself, personally, um, I could say I'm trying to create awareness yeah. home and abroad. The importance of art directors, even in, in our institutions, not even um, in, the, in, the, in the art terrain, in factories, in industry, in, in companies, even in schools. Um, promoting a product, it, it's... it's it's not only having your product being good, but then if your product comes in a nice package, very presentable, very artistic, your, your promos are very um, um, nice looking, okay. yeah. you know, and that's what sells. It's, it's, the, it's the art. And sometimes not even a product. It could happen that the product is not even good, but the, if the packaging is right, the promotion is right. Trust me, it will fly. Becky, just to add up to what Prince said, sure. I think um, most movie industries are looking at an easy way, an es yeah. easy escape. Yeah. So they are not ready to inculcate a lot of the people who are involved, the yeah. stakeholders who are involved. Oh. For instance, if you would really want to get a good movie, just like he said, you need all these people, an artist to design the backdrop for you. Yeah. You don't just get anybody at all to do a backdrop. Now, one man thousand, one person who doesn't even know anything about something will say, oh, just do anything at all. Yeah. So it makes it quite difficult. It's not because artists are not there. Artists are there. Yeah, yeah. But the fact is they are not ready to pay. So they rather prefer an easy way Wait. to do it. Wait. And you don't expect to get something good out of something that you've not invested into. For instance, when you watch Kwesi Atta movie, Nobody, the art works at the backdrop. It was done by me. It gives the whole, you know, like video, a certain a different feel. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, the music communicates with the artworks on the wall. Yeah. And you can tell yeah. the relationship is there, but they're not ready to pay for it. But, but, but Kwesi, do you, do you think that, you know, Ghanaians or, or most Ghanaians even pay attention to the details? That's the thing. Have no. you thought about, Becky, you know, the details? To be honest with you, yeah. some do. Um, okay. I think Maybe they're only the, the ones that have the, you know, art eyes. And, and that's the reason but, why they yeah. always excel in doing well. Because yeah. when you look at Shelley Frimpon's movies, yeah. I mean, you see, there's a class, yes. class in it. The backdrop, 
there's change, yes. you know, and you can tell this is a good movie. Yeah. And that is why she will always win a certain, you know, like, she won't be awards. Award, yeah. That's right. You wanted to say something? Yes, I, um, I wanted to say that Ghanaians knows a good, that they have taste. Okay. I can tell you there are Ghanaians that don't even watch Ghanaian movies. Oh, yes. Oh yes, a lot. They only watch Hollywood films, they only watch Indian movies. Why? Yes. And they will say, oh, our uh, acting is, 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 is not on point, our uh, backgrounds, our uh, stuff, stuff, and it's all falls on the art. So Becky, you see that they pay attention. Okay. They do. They know what's so right. those are the things, the things that are not making the film nice to you. Film is visual. Okay. And if, if you go on set without an artist, you go on set without, without an art director without a production designer, what are you coming home with? Mm. Now, I, I could say the process of filmmaking is an art. Okay. Professionally, when a, f a script is, is, is being prepared and is about to go on set, the first person to read a script is the production designer. That's right. Not the director of the film. At all. At all. Yes. At all. It's the production designer. He creates the visual look of the film. He can tell you, okay, this scene should be shot in the kitchen. No, this kind of kitchen. It shouldn't be this type of kitchen. Um, this man um, lives in this apartment. Okay, he works in this bank. And this bank, he should be paid somewhere, maybe 2000 And so he has to use this kind of car. Look at our films. Somebody who is working at the bank, who is just a teller, could be using Range Rover in the film. Uh, you missed the concept. Wow. Yeah. Somebody wakes up early in the morning in our local movies, early in the morning from bed. With the makeup. With the makeup on the face. <laughs> Film is making reality. Now, the, what's the duty of the, of the production is now the art directors on, on set. He checks all those things. But eventually, he just goes out and we have all these mistakes. Exactly. And on our film set, the director is the boss. The director is the boss. And um, if the director also don't really understand the duties of the art director or the others, film is a collaborative work, but there are people who create what is supposed to be filmed. And if you don't have them, I don't think we have, we have, you have something better. Who do we blame? I'll come back to you, but Kwesi, how is your industry doing? I'm talking about the arts, the fine arts, the abstract, you call them. How is the industry doing? I would say for the past years, it's much better than the previous years. Yeah. I mean, I think Ghanaians are now um, waking up to the core whereby now they value art, you know, because way back, I mean, sometimes very difficult. You see these young guys standing on the street with the artworks roll up, quite difficult, selling so cheap because I mean, look, they need to earn, you know, a living. Even. And so what they do is that, but now it's much better because it's going down, you know, a bit for the elite people in the society now. They realize that when they travel, I mean, they realize that, look, one of the main things that helps is beautifying your house with artworks. Yeah. And so now, yes, they are buying. And then the challenge too is that, I mean, because when the whites want to give us something, when I use the whites, I mean, talking about the foreigners, when it comes, yeah they normally present artworks to them. So they realize that, look, yes, I mean, it's really going on. It's not been easy, though it's been relegated to the back, you know, and the, most, of the, most of the things are done by um, our intermedi in, intermediaries, you okay. know, where um, the artists cannot sell direct to the, to the client, you know, somebody will come and buy, buy it. And so they buy it so cheap from the artist and they sell it so high. But then at the end of it all, the artist is happy because at least yeah. there's, there's, some, something. Yes, there's something, yes. Mm. Can, we, can we still call the people who paint, you know, paint people with pencil? We see, you know, most of these artists in town. Can we, you know, categorize them as uh, fine arts yes. people? Yeah. Actually, in, um, in the university, we have the Faculty of Art. Okay. And the Faculty of Art, we have even a, somebody who is designing textiles yeah. is also an artist. artist. Yeah. A graphic designer is an, an artist. artist yeah. The one who is making the port is an artist. A filmmaker is an artist. Yeah. A musician changes. It's artist with the yeah. E. e. So, yes. yes, so all of them, pencil, charcoal, brush, palette knife, there's a palette knife, you know, all of them falls under that, you know, art here. Yeah, yeah. 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 okay. Back to you. Okay. Who do we blame for our woes in the 
movie industry? I mean, who do we blame and what is the way forward? For, for, for the blaming game. <laughs> I mean, because this, this, I mean, you are now, you know, campaigning for uh, all these things, trying to get the public to understand that this is what we do and Ghanaians must appreciate what we do. So you have to tell it, us. It, it all starts from, um, from education. Okay. Um, right from, um, from primary school to JHS, then to, from J to a senior, senior high. Now, when somebody gets to the senior high school and he or she determines to do fine art or visual art, he wants to do visual art, maybe he's good in science. He gets to the school and they, they are like, hey, you are good in science. Now, they push you, they force you to do science. There are a lot of art students who are not happy, as I speak. I have visited, I have visited a lot of schools. They are not happy because they didn't choose the subject and they, they are finding difficulties. Art is not easy. If someone says oh, art is, is cheap, um, um, it's, it's easy to do, it's not. I can tell you that, you know, mathematics has got formulas to solve. If yeah. you have a mathematics question, there's a formula to solve a mathematics question. There's a formula to solve a science question. Yeah. But there's no formula. There's no formula to, to solve so art questions. It has to come from the brain. From it the has brain. to be creative. Exactly. It has to be paid attention. Exactly. So it starts from the senior high school where the artists are given that support. Now, um, there are so many areas in visual art okay. that I also went through senior high school. I got to know all those things after school and on research. But then I believe if we have the, the students are being exposed to those eight elements now in school. They'll get, okay, okay, then, um, okay, picture making wouldn't end me doing only fine art, drawing people or doing canvas work, but then picture making can end me becoming uh, uh, um, uh, 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 an illustrator, uh, 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 a scenic artist, uh, uh, a makeup artist, a special effect artist, um, an art director, a production designer, you know. There are so many areas. Now I, I enter into schools and I show them, I do this, I do that, they watch my videos yeah. and they, 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 they get marveled, you know, and they are like, oh, now I know I can become a storyboard artist. So these are the things that I, I believe um, if we inculcate in our educational system, it will help. So that is for government, right? One. Two. Same for government, because the schools are not giving um, space for the arts practitioners or the arts students to, to, to find the course interesting. Okay. There are no studios for students, uh, visual arts students. Mm. I've been to several schools, they don't have proper studios, but then they have proper science labs for science students in home economics home economics the artists practice in the same classroom that they do paperwork which is wrong the artist needs um, um, he needs a space where he enters and the whole place even gives him an idea to create you know gives him that space to create but we don't have that you know so I believe resources the government i'm pleading on the government from now on onwards to now pay attention to to, to the visual arts students to as well it's, it's very important i believe that is the reason why our industry from fashion um, um music it's 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 not it's, it's not moving movie listen a music video flies no the song flies with a music video the song flies on the wings of what? The video. Now, if your song is good and the video is bad, trust me, it won't, it won't go anywhere. Recently, I did a video with um, uh, Kiddy's video, Kiddy and uh, Kwame Eugene's video. And it was just released yesterday. Trust me, the messages and the, and the attention, the song, the video is, is, is attracting now. You, you, you can imagine. And my, even myself, on my pages, my Instagram pages, on my uh, Facebook pages and all, and people are just like, 
Because I want you in my movie, I want you in my video, I want you, you know. And so, so it's so very... Now the attention is coming. Exactly. So we're heading somewhere. We are heading somewhere, mm. but we need to push more. Yeah. Push. For me, my, my problem is, is the next generation. Okay. If we don't you're, prepare... You're, you're still here, so you can, you know, yeah. help prepare the so way. That's why we, 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 we're helping. Yes. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Kwesi, um, how about how about your industry? Are we making any money from the industry? What, are we making any headway? If we are not, what can we do uh, to have people patronize our fine arts, things that you use your heart and money to, um, you know, create and produce for us? What can we do to save this? Should I say dying industry? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, just to add up to what. My brother said, I think um, they have a relationship with what he's doing. Okay. I mean, art in itself requires a lot. And I think, first of all, the government should take it upon, you know, themselves that this is what they're going to do. I mean, if the artwork is good, they should buy it and put it in a museum. First, that is the first point. The second is they should make sure that most of the streets in Accra yeah. should be given to artists rather than this post this you know papers all, all over, over the or the walls they should contact the artist first of all and then give the artist a certain amount you know like sort of a support to enhance the wall it will give them a certain sort of comfort, comfort yeah. to do more yeah. the other thing has to do with the stakeholders should also buy artists who are alive and stop buying dead artist works you know, when they travel, they bring their prints here. Meanwhile, we have artists over here, so yeah. they should rather patronize the ones over, over here. here. Okay. It's expensive, though, but because we're also buying a lot of, you know, colors, which are expensive. So the stakeholders should also concentrate on us, because this is also, for instance, what, when he was talking about um, science and all those things, I was actually a science student. I was supposed to be, yeah, okay. yeah, I was supposed to be a doctor. You know, but along the line, I had an issue with blood, homophobia, so I couldn't actually stand blood. And I realized that in school, I was doing very well with art. So I said, let me just go into it. To be honest with you, I feel so much comfortable doing it. Yeah. The joy in doing it is more than the money I'm getting from it. Yeah. But you see, if I'm being paid for it, it will give me another sense of idea to open up, to do more. Yeah. The other thing has to do with, I think the government should also take upon itself to make sure that the materials that comes, you know, are reduced. Yeah. Okay. You know, because... Pens are quite expensive over mm. here. Though I know we import most of the you know, materials over here, but I think it should be, you know, sort of massage a little bit for us. Yeah. Yes, you know, it should be moderate so that at least everybody can get it and then work with it. For instance, if I buy this for two cities and I work and I'm selling it for 50 Ghana cities, I know I'm not running at cost, you know, because yes, but if I should buy this thing for about 50 cities, 50 cities yeah. and I'm selling my painting for two cities, what am I doing? So I think these are some of the things. And then I think also we should set up committee. Yeah. Most houses over here, most of the houses should be left with the artist. I mean, should be given to the artist yeah. to paint, work on. to work on. Mm. You know, like for instance, when you're working on a splinter's wood, there's this bed nest. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's been designed with wood. Very creative things. I mean, I normally go to South Africa. There's this competition whereby a whole street yeah. bends will will sponsor it. Mm. You know, a whole street will be given to artists, selective artists, and then they will paint it, and they are paid for. It gives, you know, it enhances the, the, the country, it enhances the street, yeah. it puts money also in the pockets of, of the, the yeah. artists. So, yeah. so basically, that's some of the things. You know, I'll, I'll remind you something. 2000 somewhere, 2009 or somewhere 2008, mm. Toyota Echo won an award. I did a storyboard. I was working then, I was working with Michel Atto. Yeah. So I did a storyboard. Then we don't even have this animation. I use paper and mm. pencil, sketch it. And then that's how the, the video people, the camera people, you know, will actually yeah. manipulate. Yeah. So you see, these are some of the things. We should support the industry, put in money. Do we have a big studio for artists? Yeah. The streets are bare. We have sculptures. We have serious people who are very, very good sculptures. Where are they? Where are they? And the streets are bare. We just see a, a, a runabout with nothing over there, a tree, and it's bare. Yeah. Why don't they, you know, give it to paid an artist? Look, come out with a certain idea. Create this thing over there. That's it. To, to, to add to that, okay. um, 
Do you know currently we, we don't have any art college in this country? Yes. Yes. Not even one. Thank you. It's art very college. sad. So very, those very sad. who graduate from senior high school who did visual arts and will not be able to enter into the university to study art, where do they go? What happens to them? They end up on the street. With a passion, they end up on the street. Yeah, they end up on the street. Well, that's uh, a question for the gods, I think. <laughs> I hope that uh, industry players are listening. I hope that uh, you watching, uh, I hope you're listening and you're paying attention to details. Uh, I hope that you will support the arts. That's, uh, this is our small way of supporting the arts in here in Ghana. And um, I hope that you support it as well. I, I'm just hoping because I can't really tell uh, that you will support. So I would just hope that you will support this industry. Thank you so much, Kwesi Ejari, uh, for you know passing by. And thank you so much, um, Prince Hilton Kojo. Yes. Uh, I like the kujo. <laughs> okay, you like the kujo yes. for uh, educating us on these issues that uh, pertain in the art industry. Um, well, I, Prince didn't give me anything, but it's okay. Yeah. I mean, we still have <laughs> Prince's. Where, where, where can we find you before we leave uh, okay. on social media? On social media, uh, Facebook, I'm Prince. I'm Ambassador Prince Kojo Hilton okay. on Facebook. Uh, on Instagram, I'm. Uh, Kojo Hilton on Instagram okay. and uh, you can read about me on Google just Google the name and you can find a lot to read about me yeah how about you um, you can find me on a social handle Facebook is Kwesia Jari yes and then on Instagram is Hero Default or Kwesia Jari Art and then um, you can also Google www.kwesiajariart.com and then all you can get all the information over there okay so these are heroes uh, oh there's, there's something this to end great. the show with so w w what is that one? This is uh, um, Maasai. Maasai, thank you, you know, so... Oh, wow. <laughs> They're together. They think alike. <laughs> you so, know, these are the hills, and then these are Maasai people. So when you travel, that's what you see. Yeah. Beautiful, colorful people, red, you know, color, and then that's what they do. Yeah. To entertain the tourists. So that's what they normally do. Okay. So, so I did uh, this. For, for us right yes, here. for you. We, we're wow. very, very, very grateful. <laughs> Uh, so on that colorful note and on the, the, this color, I'm taking this one home. Thank you so much, Chrissy. Uh, we will end entertainment with Becky here on your favorite entertainment channel, Joy Prime, on Multi TV, on Go TV, and on DSTV. My name is Becky. We'll be back with some other people some other time. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Thank you.